Stand by. Lose legal. Q logo, please. Then one player desiring playage. Okay, folks, we're getting close. Yeah, well, Ten seconds. Off you glow. Check camera three, please. I love you, random boys. Six. Press A five. To go to black. Four, go ahead and touch three. someone with other people's fingers. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I just put new rims on my Dodge Neon. Jealous much? Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... The Breast Vet Cosmetic Animal Enhancement. Because your pet deserves some heavy petting. Hang on tight, we're in for a ride. To begin with... ESPN Sane. If Jason Voorhees played the sport associated with his famous mask, what might his new victim shriek? Turn around, he's encroaching! Ref, he's slashing me! Look out, he's charging! Or, I think I'm going to faint! Time's almost up! You could have at least tried. Hell, you might have even come up with this. In hockey, a player is penalized with slashing when he swings his stick at the opponent. Contact is not required, which for Jason might be a problem. <laughs> hockey would be a nice fit for Jason. Plus, he's been looking to quit his job as a price slasher at a mattress outlet. Here we have... I could eat a chicken foot. You know, I'm really freaking hungry. Intern! I need an immediate intern over here! Uh, yes sir, Mr. Masterson. Don't startle me like that, intern. Sorry. Call Domino's and order us a pizza. Yes sir. Pepperoni! Hopefully it'll arrive before this game's over. I'm starving and I'm losing the ability to come up with things. So, uh, you ever notice how the little round pieces of pepperoni on a pizza look just like the little round dots on a Domino? I mean, and that they're both round? <clears throat> If Domino's Pizza started naming its pepperoni pizzas after the little dots on Domino's, what would they call them? Pepperoni pizzas, pepperoni pizzas, popperoni pizzas, or pepperoni pizzas? The little dots on Domino's and dice, among other things, are often referred to as pips. And before they made the recipe change, Domino's Pizza used to taste pretty much like actual Domino's. But now, now they taste like actual Domino's with butter. Coming up next, date movies. It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. I'm giving out a thousand dollar bonus to anybody who gets it right. Put these movies in chronological order from earliest release to latest release. 1984, 2001, 2012. 1984, 2001, 2012. 2001, 1984, 2012. 2012, 1984, 2001. Or 2001, 2012, 1984. 2001 came out in 1968, 1984, and 1984. And 2012 happened to the world in 2009. That earned you an extra thousand dollars. So let's see, I fell asleep during 2001, fell asleep during 1984, and wished I could fall asleep during 2012, but it was too loud. Everybody quite drunk, everybody quite drunk, hey. Say hello to... The Greenpeace Lantern. Which superhero could be mistaken as someone committing self-immolation in the name of a cause? Aquaman petitioning against whalers underwater? The Human Torch lighting candles at a PETA rally? Wolverine refusing to eat to raise forest fire awareness? Or the Hulk hulking out against global warming? Time's running out! 
Self-immolation is the act of setting oneself on fire in an act of protest, and the Human Torch flames on to tackle both bad guys and humanitarian issues. And then the counter-protesters could use the Human Torch to cook up some nice brisket. Where's the bow, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. This one's known as American Fido. Oh, and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a Kelly Clarkson song or a dog that's won the Westminster Dog Show. You know, within the past couple of decades. If it's Kelly Clarkson, press left on your plus control pad. If it's a champion dog, Press right on your plus control pad. Answer correctly and you're one step closer to realizing your dreams of fame and fortune. But answer wrong and you'll get put back in your crate. Answer in under 30 seconds and you'll get some more pepperoni to munch on. All right, let's get started. Special time's just right. A moment like this. Sorry, Spice Girl. Miss Independent. Whisper wind on a carousel. Since you've been gone. Behind these hazel eyes. As Randy would say, my dog. I actually trained this dog here to sing a Kelly Clarkson song. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Let's say so long to round one. And you're in pretty good shape for now. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And don't forget, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. All right, you ready? Too bad. May I introduce... Your four-foot grandma isn't very grand. You know, I expect a certain amount of excellence out of everything I do, everywhere I go. Yes, from now on, only the grandest things for Cookie Masterson. I'm only going to eat 100 grands. I'm only going to play Grand Theft Auto. I'm worth it. Which of these vacation destinations would be the least grand? Arizona's Canyon, Australia's Barrier Reef, Tennessee's Ole Opry, or Wyoming's Teton? Why didn't you pick this? There is the Grand Canyon, the Grand Ole Opry, and the Grand Teton, but Australia's Barrier Reef is merely great. The rest of the world could learn a little something from America when it comes to naming things. Oh, Australia, you have a great barrier reef? Oh, China, what's that? A great wall? Well, welcome to America where everything is mother grand! Boom! You're welcome. No, Wyoming's Teton is a grand Teton. And speaking of Tetons, that's the French word for the tip of a breast. And that means you've just won... Breast implants for squirrels from the Breast Vet Cosmetic Animal Enhancements. Give your squirrels the boost in confidence they so desperately deserve. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Question 7! This one's called... That Greek party got way out of control. Who is Geometry's mother's baby daddy? Hippocrates, Aristotle, Eratosthenes, or Euclid? Euclid is known as the father of geometry, so at some point he must have gotten perpendicular with Geometry's mother. <laughs> Hypotenuse. Blood and chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Let's try... Gopher broke. So anyway, have you ever noticed how gophers are... Ow! Oh, what the hell? Man, I've, I've got a bloody nose. Hey! Uh, hold on a second. Can somebody grab me my hanky? Here you go, Cookie. Thank you, Kimberly. Ugh, oh, I've got to hold this white handkerchief over my nose for a few seconds, and then everything will be fine. Hold on. Okay, let's take a look here. Hey, wow! All this blood on my white handkerchief kind of looks like a flag. Which flag could it not be? Canada, Japan, Turkey, or Pakistan? Pakistan's flag is actually green and white. 
which is what my hanky normally looks like after I blow my nose. Here's one I like to call smooth as a baby's badonkadonk. Suppose Gillette came out with a new razor named for the philosophical principle Occam's Razor. What tagline would you hear in the commercial? A shave in time saves nine. The unexamined shave is not worth doing. The simplest shave is always the right shave. Or I shave, therefore I am. Occam's Razor states the simplest answer is likely the right one. Now I just hope they come out with Occam's Bikini Wax. Some of the stuff I've tried is so complicated. Hold me, never let me go. And my it's time for... David Hasselhoff owes me money. So, you ever notice how David Hasselhoff... Oh! Oh, there it is! Pizza's here! Pizza's at the studio! Here's your pizza, Mr. Masterson. Thank you, Danny. I knew you weren't such a bad intern after all. It's Michael, sir. Mm, well, <clears throat> whatever. Oh, Lord, this is delicious. Hey, hey, look at this Domino's box. There's actually a domino on it. I knew getting this pizza here would help me think of more things. How many total pips are there on the domino pictured on the Domino's pizza box? Two, three, five, or seven? <laughs> The domino piece found on a Domino's Pizza box, which is Domino's Pizza's logo, has a 2 and a 1 on it, meaning 3 total pips. Mmm. Mmm. 3. The average number of pizzas I eat a day. Mmm. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 4,000 if you're right, but you'll lose 4,000 if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What'll it be? My favorite drink is a Shirley Temple. Extra water for luck. That's the game! Well, I'll be dipped. That's a heck of a score you got there. Shucks, dag nabbit. Holy mackerel! For Pete's sake! Oh, and uh... You don't know Jack! Nice work, folks. Donnie, what's going on? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings?
Are you in the market for a new used van? When you think vans, think Vance Van Vans Van Lot. Hello, I'm Vance Van Van, and I sell the sweetest vans in the city. They've got 8-track players, water beds, airbrush murals, beaded curtains. Hey Vance, what's that weird burning smell? Never you mind that kid, you'll understand when you're older. Hey. Okay, my vans don't come with satellite radio and GPS and la di da, but they do have character and carpeted walls. So, when you think vans, think Vans Van Vans Van Lot. Conveniently located down by the old abandoned airport that's probably haunted. You know the one. And remember, if Vans Van Vans Van Lots are rocking, be sure to stop in and buy a van from me, Vans Van Van. Traffic is terrible. I wish there was some way to escape. Now there is. Where did you come from? You can escape reality altogether. Sounds nice, but how? Easy. Start interpreting all the road signs as if they're secret messages to you, or just obsess over the number five. Wow, there are a lot of number fives on these license plates. What could that mean? See that old lady over there in the blue Honda? Get out of your car and start yelling at her. Why? She looks so sweet. I don't know. Maybe she's a demon. And she's probably trying to stop me from getting my messages to the president. Now you're getting it. Thanks, Magical Pixie. I'm not even here. That's how good you're doing. Insanity. If you lived here, you'd be a giant duck already. And now, greatest Great moments in driving history. Oh man, I love this song. If only there were a way to let drivers around me know that I love this song. Ah, too bad you can't hear anything from outside these stupid rolled up windows. Wait a minute, what if I... This has been another installment of Greatest, greatest Moments in Driving History. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Cooley. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? <laughs> I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it! <laughs> if I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie Mama! <laughs> That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special. Great party, Sarah. Oh, thanks. I've got to ask, though, what's with the mysterious box? Oh, that's a mysterious box from Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. What's in it? Honestly, I've always been a little too afraid to open it, but it makes a wonderful conversation piece. Do you mind if I open it? Well, why not? I've already led a pretty full life. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Well, that's kind of... Yeah! Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. There will come a time when one will be delivered to you. you, 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 you. Bowling! Why ruin such a primal sport by gingerly putting your fingers through the ball like a dainty little schoolgirl? Introducing Fistful Bowling Equipment. For the dude who takes on the world knuckles first, we customize all of our balls, bags, and shoes so they fit your fist perfectly, and you can get right down to the business of punching out a game. Wow, nice frame, mister. Out of my way. Wow. Fistable Bullying Equipment Incorporated. When life gives you a 7-10 split, punch it hard. Spreaders through hot dogs, knockwurst, and kielbasa.